These are baby guavas. You can still see the flower that where they started. Just barely going. Now the tree is decent size. That's the only two I found on that tree. This and guavas are crazy, crazy kinds of plants. You can cut them all the way back down to the to the roots basically and they will survive. In fact they'll they will thrive. <clears throat> so they're in some ways more weed than plant than than tree, but the fruit is tasty if you can beat the chickens to it. And that's been a difficult proposition. I have not recently been able to beat the chickens to the fruits. They do get about apple size though when they're when they're ripe. This these are not even close. Not sure how long it takes, but we shall find out maybe. I will check every day. This is a guava that came off of the tree in the backyard. Let's see if we can open it. Now probably the best thing to do is actually use a peeler here. Mm. Now the outside skin is not all that tough or anything, but it's not really tasty. <clears throat> Now we open it up and you get an inside, hmm, this one it's harder to see, but the whole inside is filled with tiny little seeds, tiny, tiny little seeds, get tons of them. And they're hard, massively hard little seeds, stuff you don't really want to be getting in your teeth at all. So they could easily break a tooth. Easily. Okay, there's half. And here's the other one. I think actually most people experience guava as guava juice. You can see, maybe you can see that it's really is a pretty juicy little fruit. And you don't really want to have to deal with the seeds, but juices in general end up with way more sugar than you really want to have. Eh, at least not on a regular basis. Okay, there we go. All nice and clean. Ready to be eaten.